weapon something. Finger guns. Welcome to Inside the Ant Farm. One, two, one, two. It's the future. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Twelve, twelve, guys. Well, well, it's the future, but we're only going to be talking about stuff from 2015. So we made this podcast in the future. We send it back to now for you guys. So Matt, how you doing in the future now? I'm. I, you know, I took my hover car over here, and uh, and you look exactly the same as you did in 2015. I look. Like, I have aged very well. Same, same, same pimples and everything. Like just, you look, yeah. you look great. Warby Parker glasses still. Those things lasted a long time. Uh, no, these are. Uh, I've gotten all Warby Parker glasses since then. This Warby is the same Parker, exact, the same exact, same exact frame. This is like my frame now. Warby Parker, thank you. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. You guys sponsor everything. Sponsor us, please. You get up to. And do we get free glasses? You'll get up to ten hits a week. At least five. Please. I'll, it'll be me. Hey, what do we got here? So this is a Trader Joe's room. We, we did one a long time ago, Trader Joe's. And it was awful. And it was awful. So I, I started to try again. This one, not so bad. It's, a, it's called, uh, their brewery called Joseph Brow. We you've already had this? Yes, man. Oh, I totally didn't change my shirt either. <laughs> <laughs> From 2015, oh, I know. man. Gross. Gross. You are terrible for the record. Uh-huh. They actually brought a shirt, by the way. Because we, we, we do, that's a joke, we always change our shirts for the other podcast. And so he brought a shirt. This is what the shirt would have been if he was. I never stupid. really changed mine, though. Man, ch- change it right now on camera. Change it right oh, now. I'm not going to my tits. But no, but no, no one can see my tits. <laughs> Be ashamed. No, thanks. Papa, you're ashamed. ashamed of my tits. We both have beards today. We're all wrong as a beard. Yeah, okay. You have a beard. Look at this. That's beardy. That's as beardy as I that's get. That's like me on a non beard day. This is four days worth of growth, man. Four. <laughs> Four. Uh, well, I had a beard because uh, um, <coughs> we had our, our second of our three Renaissance. Let's hear about this, man. Because I didn't go to see it this summer. He was there. Uh, I'm, no, there was I'm no geek. There's a lot of cool people there. I'm too cool. Uh, there's a lot of fun people there. Uh, this was our the one we, we traditionally do the best at, and we did really good at it this year. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, made a lot of good contacts. Uh, and that that one seemed to be like I've been to a lot of Ren fairs, and that one was my favorite uh, for a lot of reasons. It was, it's well put together. These people, uh, most of the people work at um, the New York Ren Fair, uh, the New York Downstate in Tuxedo, in uh, Sterling Forest, New York, uh, in Tuxedo Park area, which is down towards the city. Um, and so um, they put it together. Tuxedo show. Park, it's only clean. the second year, and it's already so well done, really, because they get a lot of musicians, <clears throat> a lot of good acts and talent that make you want to stay in the park longer and buy stuff you know yeah the musician thing was definitely the uh the kicker for me like I, there was a lot of good musicians walking around and they all seem to like be able to do their own thing but then come together and do little things yes. in different places they're very good at improv music improv uh i really wish you guys could have stayed to the end or got there right at the beginning because they do a musical thing at the oh, gate I, I saw it on your uh, facebook yeah page. At, at the gate they do it uh like for 15 minutes they play usually about 15 20 minutes they'll play uh before they let people in and then at the end, they for about half an hour, 45 minutes, they play. Um, and then, you know, basically they, they don't let people leave. They kind of let them leave, but they're like, no, you shouldn't leave. And, like, a lot of people just stay. And there's probably about 40, 45 people If there. you leave, we'll stick you in the parking lot. But, and then some of them sing bodier songs. And there's like one guy, the Creepy Bard, he does... Uh, he did one Creepy that was, Bard, is that his name? The Creepy Bard, that's the name. Uh, he did one <laughs> about uh, a bear... That licks the hair of a woman, but he goes, but it's not the hair on her head. And it's like, oh, there's kids here, but that's okay. They don't know. They don't know. They're kids. They don't know. I like that. See, that makes me uh, like it, like it even more. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot. The and there, the pirate show there is very good. It's very well done. Like these guys all. I like. The, I love their Broadway sets. caliber I singers. I didn't, I didn't see the show, but I love their set. They are like near near Broadway caliber singers. They do a lot of actually kind of they milk like put like little Broadway things, little hits that you might know. Like they do a. A little Let It Go parody in the middle. They did something about uh, like a Les Miserables uh, one day more thing, and then and then it was like okay, it was really it was a lot of fun. And this was in Altima, New York. We actually went to see uh, yeah, right near Jim, Albany. Jamie and I went to see you guys on Saturday, and we were hanging out with our friends uh, Deborah and Paul, who also came. And Saturday was our slow day, so it was, I'm glad you guys we saw you that day because Sunday we were swamped. Like we got, I've, I've never actually been swamped at my booth. Uh, I'm used to just kind of sitting there, and somebody comes up and look at stuff, and they go, oh, too much. <coughs> Or something, you know, and they walk away. Or like, oh, I'm going to buy something, but no one else is there. Like, we had, like, multiple people buying stuff at the same time. Uh, 
I had it. I was working on a purse, and this girl saw it. And she's like, "Oh, I like that purse." I'm like, "Okay." Do you have anyone try and bargain? I'm like, "Well, if you come back it? a couple hours, I'll I'll sell it to you." You know, and she goes, "I'll buy it now." I'm like, "So she bought it now, and I wasn't done with it." So I'm like, "No, so, so I'll, I'll be back in an hour." So I'll be back an hour and a half or something. I'm like, "So I'm like, trying to get 45 done. minutes." Yeah, basically, so I'm like, I'm just waiting for her to walk around the corner. I'm not done yet, and the shame in my <laughs> eyes. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Um, she just she just walks in, and is like, "You're late." I need to go. I'm sorry. You have to rush me. I'm not used to being rushed. That means that it's thing. free. No, that doesn't mean it's free. You already paid me. It's free. You already paid me. So that means it's free. She didn't have to pay me. Like, most people, like, we had, actually had a couple people like, oh, hold this, and then they never came back. But, um, and so you just start holding it the whole time. Like, can I no, stop like, like, this? like, we put it behind the counter for a couple minutes. We only did it for a couple hours. Uh, but this, I guess, just said the one person did it last year too like they said oh I'm going to come back for this can you hold it for me and then they never came back where I'm like wow two years in a row awesome well then jerk what a jerk this one got had fun too and uh, he he, uh, he enjoyed a lot of the stuff and, and then he got then he like just got super overwhelmed so we had to, that's why he took off so early yeah and uh, Aiden has a ha, had a little girlfriend there so yeah if you haven't seen those Facebook pictures. everyone thought they were brother and sister like everybody kept when they were saying goodbye to him at least four different people said oh say goodbye to your sister for me and he's like I don't have a sister <laughs> and like oh, yes that's... that would have been weird if Gemma was around already oh, she was she was just hanging out in mommy's tummy so how was your week buddy that was good I've been I've been off I'm still recovering from this cold but uh um <sighs> I'm at 85 percent to black death. Well, I had that thing, sort of something like that, like a couple weeks ago. Was like, yeah, I think you gave it to it, me. I did not. It was you lingering. It. it was lingering inside of me for uh, me. for a little bit afterwards. But you know what else was lingering inside of you? Yeah. Actually, the weird part of you guys are gonna be drunk. The way. weird part was I was thinking the same thing she just said. <laughs> You guys are gonna be drunk, so just make sure you're drinking every time you get. Well, it. I think Jamie might be getting drunk too. That's why. Um, so let's talk about some stuff that this E3 is, is upon us. This man. is a big week. E3 is latest. Let's big not let's not do E3 yet though. Let's just do what? Jurassic Park first, just so, so we get the other stuff out of the way and cover E3 at the end. Yeah, watch Jurassic Park. We did it. We did a review oh. for it with Daniel Buckley. Okay, we did a review for it, but Jurassic Park also had the uh, biggest opening of all time. What? Two hundred four point six million dollars domestic. And I think five hundred eleven million dollars, so half a billion dollars uh, worldwide. So five hundred eight, huge, five eight. huge. Should be okay. Huge though, like the the biggest opening of all time. Uh, yeah, and we would see it. We loved it, and uh, there will be a, a review up very shortly, either before or after this. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, in the past for us, because we're in the future. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is that's many years in the future. Well, by the way, you haven't changed the paint. Or a scheme of your house at all. To limit confusion, or, or there's no bigger kids running around, but uh, to limit confusion, we'll label this 121. Maybe we are our kids. We'll label it 121. Hi, I'm Aiden. Here in... And you're Connor. I'm a big, beefy guy still. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty much what his body well, you, you do kind of look like you're four years older than me, so... Yeah, you know, you're a single old guy. I feel like it, too. Um, okay, uh, let's get an E3 now. Good. Um, E3, lots of good stuff. We've been waiting to hear from this, and E3 is still going on at this time in the <clears throat> past. Um, but they're, they hit they hit it out of the park the first couple days. So we won't tell you how awesome months. these games were when we played them. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll say we'll talk about like we're so excited about. Yeah, but look for these reviews in the far future, obviously. So, um, my Matt's Witcher Three review that was a great one you did. I'm still. Done. Still yeah, it's like 12, 12. 12, 12. I'm still playing that game. Still playing that game. This girl, different 37 years now. in the he's, future. He's like your old son you're playing now in this one. He has like a Fu Manchu. It's, like um, it's Dandelion Sun, actually. Yeah, Dandelion and Geralt Sun. I was a girl the whole time, Geralt. Well, so go lucky. I don't get how we're friends. How are we? How are you even likable? You, There's no likable part of you. <laughs> um, so let's get into some of these games that we saw. Uh, let, um, so I wrote that mostly just the PlayStation Four conference, but I wrote a lot of PlayStation. Too. I wrote a couple other. But one ones. big thing from Xbox, Xbox One, Matt, is going to have backwards compatibility. Did you hear about this? Yeah, which it should have to begin with. This is kind of weird because this was something that was rumored when it originally <coughs> came out, and they're like, "No, I'm just kidding." And I almost feel like they did it to like give it like a longevity almost. 
But here's the it, here's my biggest issue with it. They're doing it like four years after people probably got rid of their games now. You know, I'm like, hey, we got backwards compatibility, by the way. <laughs> it's like that uh, true belief is still their Xbox Series. It's a jerk it's move. Okay. You know? It's just like, you know, some people just give their PlayStation 3s away to the little brothers. Yeah, but I have still my PlayStation 3, but I don't have any games for it really anymore. I mean, I have the ones that were on there, like the, I have like Lego Avengers. But what if you want to play Lego Avengers? So but you have to go back it, and now Avengers. it's the digital version, so I don't, unless I can download the digital version from my PS3 to my PS... I don't know. But, you know, I, 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 it, is a, it is a cool thing. I, this is something that was rumored to come out originally when it first happened, and then it got cut somehow. I think this is the well, thing. That, everything I think this kind of this thing kind of hurt Xbox uh, One when it first came out because everyone was like, "Yeah, okay, that's good. This is what we want, and this is something different than what PS4 is." And they're like, "Just kidding, we're not doing that either." And like, oh, well, and I think a lot of, a lot of them did that kind of stuff because they were like, "Oh, well, if this guy gets away with it, I can do it too," you know, and it costs us less money, and and that was kind of the underhanded, uh, the underhanded bat behind the scenes for both those consoles, yeah. and, and you know, because because you know, this is very good though. Even uh, even places before was gonna do that kind of DRM thing for a long time, and then there, then after Xbox 360, or Xbox One went first and said, "Oh yeah, guys, we're gonna make it so you have to be online all the time." PS4 was like, "Abort, abort." <laughs> yeah, uh, but okay, let's get into some of these games now. Obviously, there's the hits that we wanted to see. First of all, Mass Effect Four and Dramada. So yes. not, not in this format, just yes. that's the best in this. Yes. Okay, so, so what did you think of the trailer, by the way? Take all my money. Uh, it was very generic. I, I think they did it on purpose, like, for that They reason. made you, the guy look exactly like Shepard, except for a different helmet. Oh, see, I was thinking, like, how they started with that, that, uh, they started with, like, that, um, Johnny Cash or song. Or yeah, they made it look like it was, like, Wild Yeah, like, you're gonna, like, oh, it's, it's, what are they doing, like, Red Dead or something? Red Dead And then, then the last fight's like, oh, nice! I just did, like, that, they got the guy leading, and he does the exact same Shepard move to get up, and I was like, okay, uh, supposedly you... that guy th from the trailer, the guy with the weird handkerchief thing going on, isn't the main character. And N7. He has an N7. But he's not the main so, character. Designation. So he may be somebody... I don't know how he couldn't be Shepard. That was what was bothering me. It was Maybe like he is. This bothered me because but, all, all the, he had N seven. He did the Shepard lean off of the console. It was the exact same Shepard gangster lean. Yeah, like I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's Vega or somebody. That would make sense. Do, do you, do you, know, you remember? But it that, wasn't. Do you remember that sexy lean? Because it's something you dream about every night. No, because he did it so many it. times, like off of something. He'd do like that, that weird like push off one arm more than the other type lean. And so when he did it, I was like, okay, they used the same exact effect. Which either enrages me because they didn't get another effect for the. Not every person leans off the thing like that. Nah, I that, that. That's like that's like up for oh, and everyone sits down like uh, like Commander Riker. They put their leg over the chair. <laughs> that's the awesome way to sit down in the yeah. future. That, that's like that's how you know that's him because he did that move. No one else does that move. But you no. never noticed it until they showed it to you in a supercut. But um, uh, mm -hmm. and then he had the N seven. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I'm still I'm very excited about this game. I want to see more of it. I want to. I want them to show me more stuff. Please give me all the money because I love that game. Uh, I'll just take it. I'll, I'll pre-order right now if you want me to. Even though know, it's a year and a half from now. Do you have sequels? Can I pre-order them? <laughs> a year and a half from now. A year and a half. Uh, that's rough. I need. Uh, uh, that's rough. <laughs> I was like, oh, too long. But you know, Matt, we have stuff, We have things. We have some good games to tie this over here. We do. Let's go. Have you seen this Horizon Zero Dawn? I did, and uh, I picked it, it off your page. Look, off your Facebook so page. So good. Um. I like the idea, the concept. It looked like uh, Tomb Raider meets M Monster Hunter, uh, t for real. Uh, Mon Monster Hunter. I like the the take is off a great game because like it Raider first Monster. starts off, all of the cities are messed up and and they're they're gone and you, this is the far future of our civilization is dead. This, this, this is what I, we're assuming anyway from just the trailer, and then these this like all oh, these people are now like kind of like tribal people and they're hunting robot animal things. I was like, oh, I was like, that's cool. And then, like, I'm looking, I watched the trailer twice, it's and if you look back, look at the weapons. Oh, yeah. Weapons are, like, made of the robot animals. Yeah. I'm like, that's great. I'm like, that's yeah. fantastic. These are what they kill. I'm like, that's great. Because I'm like, oh, you can't eat a robot. But you or can, make can you? <laughs> robot sandwich. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, their teeth wow. are like their teeth are like super weird and sharp, and they have like gizzards in their stomach or something. 
Oh, oh, spaces. They, they have like weird rocks that grind up everything or something. Uh, they are different. They're different people now. It's thousands of years in the future. They and and it's, it's probably the only uh, trailer you could get uh, get away dressing a white person with red hair uh, as like a Native American. <laughs> um, new cosplay for for red haired girls. Yeah, because uh, they need. Come on, every cool person's redheaded. Shepard. They, on, they had a lot of girl cosplay in just. Watching the stuff, I was like, "Wow, oh, there's one." And then they got the they have the the new uh, Shenmue game coming out there. Yeah, and that's that's a game long uh, rumored in the making. Let's get to that a little bit because that is a the third installment, and it's kind of like a lot of people always complain that there was the first one, the second one, and they didn't finish. Well, the, they didn't finish the story. Yeah, they didn't finish the story. Uh, and so there is actually a Kickstarter that was put out for this yesterday. In nine hours, it met its goal yeah. already because it's it's already been frothed up for. 10 years. I don't know these games. Now I kind of want to play them. If they're, like, they have a pretty rabid fan base. Well, they're a huge you know. fan base in, in Japan, and mm-hmm. they, they, I think they finally got shipped over here, finally, because they, they've been, like, want, like, people have literally been, like, stealing these games and, like, emulating them here to, and, like, translating yeah. them to try and get them here. And, and now they're finally, you know, they're in the U.S., mm-hmm. and, and people are seeing how awesome they are. They're supposed to have really good stories and yeah. stuff. And, um, uh, now they have a third one. And the third one's Greenland, basically. I mean, it it's Greenland now, you know. Because uh, even if they don't get money from other people, they're, I'm sure they're going to like triple their well, the, the amount they is, need. Is, you know, is the thing that I didn't like about it is because they they did announce it at, on the E3 stage, which means Sony's backing, you, mm. which means they have the money. So it's like that. Maybe Sony's like, we're not going to give you a lot now. What 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 it's, it feels like is it's like an interest piece. It's like you know, oh, it, it, we don't know if there's enough interest you know what? in the West. You know, I guess so it like worked. A Western Kickstarter. I guess then, it worked. You know, that's three million dollars. That's alright, me. If people are gonna pay for it, you know, I'm, I'm sure they had pretty good incentives. Like, you know, you pay sixty dollars, you get the game, or something like that. All right, no, you only yeah. have to pay thirty dollars to get the game. Yeah, so yeah, it's good digital copies. It's yeah, thirty dollars. That's great. Then. It actually went to the page. Oh, okay, I want to check it out just to see what it is. But um, that's that's great. You know, all right, why not? You know. So speaking of uh, things that are being resurrected, man, The Last Guardian. They show this, gameplay. This game has been so dead and then so alive and so dead and so alive and not so alive, just kind made. of alive. It wasn't going to be made. My life support. And then it was like completely dead, and then it got brought back to life. Um, this is this is the stubbornness that is so Jap- you, the you Japanese see, culture. Did you see the gameplay for it? I actually didn't watch it. Okay. I just know that there was a gameplay. I was going to say it still it look all right. Still still I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care about it that yeah. much. Like, um, like the, the I last, just know that the the folklore about it that it's it's the last thing I played from Team Michael was Shadow Classes, which I liked well enough. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's it was really simple. It was it got it's like okay, I'm climbing a dumb monster guy, and now it's time in the head. Okay, yay, dumb monster guy. It's like it's like oh, I'm just lumbering around. You're jumping on top of me. Like why are we killing these guys? I'm not the Iron Giant. They're literally just walking around. They're not hurting anything. I'm just killing them. Okay, but um. Yeah, that's that's enough about that. Okay, that's well, lots of good games. Did you see the gameplay for Uncharted Four? Yeah. Oh my god! Ten minutes of gameplay. So game good. Ten minutes of game. It looks so good. Oh, I uh, they I know. They get into a car. First of all, just the the shooting alone looks insane. Like the the cover system and how cover the breaks cover around you. Basically, you can you can blow up just about anything in the game. Yeah, like at one point a grenade gets thrown. And usually in the old game, a grenade would blow up and it'd hurt you, but it wouldn't do anything to the cover. The cover's blowing up now that you were behind. If you, even if you move the way, you see like sharp. By the way, in that demo, like, guy, throw the grenade back. Come on, man. Really? That's what I would have yeah, nope. That's what I'm saying. Nope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he runs around the corner. Uh, the and then the oh, driving. Yeah. Here's the thing that I really noticed that was so cool about the driving. You could watch Sully react to everything that happened, like when he was saying stuff to, yeah. like, oh, get oh, sorry about that, or, you know, yeah. you have your thing back yeah. in the first time, first you time in your country. And he's, like, holding onto the back of the seat when, like it, like, it gets too bumpy, he's, like, holding on to the seat and stuff like that. I'm like, it looks so good. I was like, wow. Yeah. I, I can only hope that the game looks half as good as that just I want to get a little more ply info. I, I'm very interested. Like, all the chips are in this one. Uh, Uncharted is another, one of those games where I will buy every single one. Except for the card <laughs> game, I was gonna say, ah, no, I was gonna say, fortune. Not. Uh, those jerks. You didn't play. You didn't buy the one for Vita. What's up? There was another one for Vita. Oh, Vita. That's a fine. golden fortune. Oh, uh, Vita. No. I gotta find my plug for my PSP because I just found it in my my Medusa. It was on the bottom of it. Um, you gonna start playing your PSP? No, I'm gonna give it to Aiden. So oh, nice. Um, but uh, I oh, it looks so good. Oh, man, you know what else looks awesome? Yeah, what? Battlefront. 
Oh yeah, Battlefront. Did you see that? Yeah, they had a big multiplayer thing oh, on my there. Goodness, I I am ex I was I am, I love Battlefront, and usually I don't like games like that, but I love Battlefront. But it looks so good. It looks uh, so and good. this one looks even better. And like like there's I mean it shows people flying Tie Fighters, people with snow spears, people the guy in an at walking around in an at that was awesome. A, a dude a dude picking up a uh, rocket launcher and blowing up an an, an ATST. And that's I don't how do they say that. That's, that's yeah, and, and like and like the the, the your you know the characters are all reacting to things like oh go over there at ten o'clock and like and it might have just been the guys you know on the thing but it's still it got it really got me into it. It looks frantic and beautiful and terrible and, 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 and in and a thing, good way. Like it looked great. like they had a lot more than you normally see on a battlefield like uh, in like those kind of games uh, mm -hmm. on like teams against teams. So like maybe like sixteen on sixteen, thirty-two on thirty-two. Yeah. yeah. A lot, a lot of people. Is, that's well, that'd be insane. It's thirty two. Yeah, I would love it. Well, I mean, Mag tried to do that, but but Mag wasn't wasn't a great. That'd be insane. insane. Activity issues and things. Yeah, but I, I'm excited, and it's something they can do technically, especially with the the power of the PS4. Um, and also, I think they said something about Alfred having like exclusive maps or something for one of the other systems. I don't know if it's PS4 or if it's Xbox One. Uh, I'm ex Let's either see. way. I'm excited. Show me more. Uh, I did you. I need to ask you about this because I really should have checked this. I didn't. Uh, For Honor. Uh, this is a game I've been hearing popping up uh, about. Like this is the game that a lot of people did not see coming. Almost like uh, the Horizon Dawn Zero uh, game. People didn't see it. Well, coming. it's an Ubisoft game. It's it's like a. It's basically a factions melee PvP fight. Yeah, it looks like. Like almost like a MOBA type thing well, or something. Yeah, or? It's, not, it's not a MOBA. It, it, I think it's just it's like you, or you just play, a you play either samurai, Vikings, or knights. Mm -hmm. And so like they obviously have their strengths and weaknesses, whatever those are. It didn't show any gameplay that I well the, at least the thing I saw was just a like a blurred thing where it's like you're fighting as a, a guy. I saw a couple you're cool stills. I saw a couple cool stills from it. I was like, oh, they look, the characters look pretty pretty damn cool. Yeah, but it, but I feel like you're just generic. But I guess this guy. is the thing that's been popping up in a lot of places. Like, oh, this is the game to look, watch out for, something like that. So Horizon was is that game for me. Like, I I I thought that was great. It was beautifully movie. rendered, uh, that, especially that the, the, that giant robot monster fight thing. It had like a saucer head. That that one thing that was like brontosaurus yeah. type thing. Well, like, and then the, like, the thing along. she fought where she's like shooting it in the underbelly and she's rolling away that, from it. And she has to shoot. That it looks like a crazy missile, ass fight. missile launcher. She has to rip that thing off and shoot it. Like again. obviously the person playing that knew exactly what to do because I was like I would I would be dead. What well, eighteen it, times? Like, like I said, that's why for me it, it felt very Monster Hunter esque. Monster Hunter. I don't know if you ever played those games, but uh, they're mostly um, in Amer in the West. They were like on PSP. <laughs> I think they had them like Wii U or something, but who cares about Wii U? By the way, Nintendo conference. Uh, but um, we'll get to one game in a second. I don't like uh, but um, yeah, like uh, Monster Hunter, you it's it's tactical because you can't just run into a monster and kill it. You have to like you have to like slow it down with 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 uh, like arrows, or you have to like sh you know you know that rope thing. I like yes. that. And, I just, like, yeah, and that's ropes. why it, like, it was very. And I I loved Monster Hunter when I used to play it on PSP because it was just it, it was such a time suck because you you have to fight these big things and they were so challenging and, and like you could get you could fight with other people. Although this game looks single player, but but that was another thing too is like you get like one guy in front and he's like taunting the the dinosaur. The dinosaur's run, the monster's running at him and then you hit the guy in the tail and he turns around and he's coming at you and then you're trapping him. And so, like, that, that, but I got all those feels when I was watching Horizon when she was, like, shooting the arrows into the ground and shooting them at the guys and, it's, it's, yeah, you know, kind of roping them in place and stuff. And, and, and she, she, she knocked them over. And yeah. Then she, uh, yeah. And so I was, like, was, I was, like, oh, I, she knocked the gun off and then started shooting yes, it at the gun. That yeah. Was really like, cool. I, I, I love cool. the tactical portions of, of games like that. And, and, and that mixed with, like, kind of the Tomb Raider, like, strong female character who's, like, sneaking around. Like, that was cool, too. And so and I liked I like that they're they're fitting strong female characters into video games much better. Like a lot of times, they're like oh well, you can also play as this version of a girl, like on Mass Effect. It's like oh, there's also Fam Shap. Well, I mean, like ten but years. this is like this main character is a girl. It's like two ten, Raider, ten this main years character ago, is the unheard of. Yeah. That kind of thing. It's like oh, only yeah. boys play video games, and if you're playing as a girl, you're probably going to be gay because you're playing as a girl. Like. It's not how it works. It's a story. You know, yeah. main characters' stories can be other. I don't think I'm a female when I'm yeah. playing a story, <laughs> except for on Saturdays. But um, well, let's see. You put the lipstick. You got all dressed up. It's nice. He looks. Um, he actually, with the beard, even he looks. You, pretty good. you think with the beard? But um, uh, I'm excited. 
Uh, I'm also the, they have expansions for did you see the expansion for uh, the Old Republic and also for Destiny they have the they are showing expansions the, for the okay fall. so let's talk about both those separately. okay all right the Old Republic let's go there so the Old Why Republic seems so mad the trailer for that was amazing okay I thought it was something else like I thought it was they were introducing a new Star Wars game well they're introducing a big a big piece of it, uh, they just the you Old saw Republic. the trailer yeah. right it yeah. looked so cool it was good like, it, was it, it gave me the feels it, it, it plus these twin brothers. The Twin Brothers were really, like, I was like, this story, I was following the whole story, yeah. I'm like, damn. Like the one, I haven't played the Old Republic in, really, I play it, put, put it on my thing, like, twice in the last, well, see, like, year the and thing, a half. They, they, there's no way they can replicate what that trailer is going to do, yeah. but the story is always the story good is for very those. cool. E- even in the expansive, the expansive stories have almost always been really Like, good. it was like a father, and he had these twins, and one was, one was, like, kind of like the darker twin, and one was the lighter twin, and then they went to battles together, and they kind of, like, turned... Like into these gritty people, and they got like battle damage and more things messed up. And they're both Jedi's too. Yeah. Um, well, they're, but they're not like they're not on either side. Yeah. Either, which is what was interesting. And you, but and I think if you, you, you like had a feeling that action. you had a feeling you like you didn't know which way they would turn if like one of them would turn dark, one of them would turn light, and uh, then the one guy has like half a face because he got like half his body yeah, blown yeah, yeah, yeah. off. And like you said, that that weird. Oh my God. And actually, like the, you they, you hear him slicing the arm off at the one point. You're like, yeah. oh, that's, which just slice it off of the lightsaber. I don't know and what they do. I the believe the song. color was a Sunrider's Destiny. If uh, if if I remember correctly, the color of their lightsaber it's like an orangish, uh, yellow color. Yeah, which is usually a, a more neutral color in, in yeah. Jedi lore. Um, uh, and then, uh, well, I. I mean, you could watch it, but at the end, uh, the father's like walking away, and the one guy, one of the sons, goes to kill him. The other son starts a fight with him to try to stop him, and then he kills his brother instead. Yeah. And then, wow, it was like yeah, and, and like like the one that went to kill his father kills his brother, and then his, his father's like, "Come with me, son," and, and it ends. He's like, "Wait, what happens next?" I want to know. It was awesome. Well, see, I feel like that's okay. He's the master, and now his son's the his apprentice for Sith. That's what I think, but. Wow. But I feel like I feel like it's wow. something beyond that. It feels more clandestine oh, wow. because because it's really because cool. like I said, they were killing both the Sith and the Jedi. So I feel like there's something different about these guys. Oh. Plus the fact that that's that was like a white armor, even though it's not canon. I'm interested. Not canon. Not canon. Well, that's see, what, that's what I was me. hoping it'd be a canon, like a canon game, and then I saw it. So I, I kind of wish they did something where it's like, okay, here's we'll reset this, and now it's canon or something. You know, like. I don't know. I it it sucks for all the people that got to like yes. level 60, 70, you know. Well, not even uh, that. It's just it, it sucks for all the people that made all that lore, you know? Like yeah. all this so, some of it is very good lore. Like it's like all the stuff sure. with the, with the replacing the emperor and and, and Revan returning and Revan is just great. Uh, like there's a all the whole Revan story, there's a lot of really good points when there's in it. There's a new there's a new, there's a new very portion well to it too it. that's uh, really good as yeah. well. They they just added Revan returning to the Star Wars universe. Like from from the void, he's back, and and you have to figure out what side he's on, and are you going to have to kill him? And then they're sending people after you that are revenants that are kill, trying to kill you. And like, am I am I going to have to kill Revan? Can I join him? Like, what are my options? Please. I played you once. I saved your life, buddy. I was you. Do you remember? I was you. I invented the piano key necktie. Yeah. So that okay. Now let's talk about this destiny. One. Okay. So another, another thing that I'll mention about this Star Wars one is it's free. It's a free... Well, Destiny's free if you have the... $40, man. If you have the season pack, though, right? Or is it No. Not? It's oh. $40, regardless. Destiny, well, I'm done with you. So they gave you no story and no anything. They didn't finish the story for Destiny. Never. For the first game that no. you paid $60 for. They didn't finish that. They Not even close. They did have Peter Dinklage in it, though. Yeah. The wizard came from the moon. <laughs> Mike, no. they took that line out. They took that no. line out. No. And then forty dollars for this expansion. And I, I saw. I just oh, saw thanks. the cover. I, I didn't know it was forty dollars. I haven't seen the the uh, if there's any trailers or anything, but I saw the cover and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, they have like different weapons for the characters. They have and new the, subclasses. Yes. And I was like, that looks kind of cool. And then I saw. And then pre-order price forty dollars. Special special pre-order for people that have episode one and two. And I was like. Not like this. Uh, I'm already done with that game. I don't know. I liked it. The concept. They didn't do it right, and then they no. Yeah, mind share wise. Well, the worst part was the season pass. They gave you half the stuff for free, 
So I mean, what, why did I buy my season pass? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know? I feel like that's like, why I quit doing it. I'm like, forget it. You know, I, I feel like, like I feel like my season pass is wasted. And, yeah. and plus the fact you that you still have Destiny. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I, I got it digitally though. Oh, okay. But but um, because remember, I I went to get the the special edition. The guy was like, oh, can you trade for a digital one? Because we had too many pre-orders. And I was like, can I get a free controller for it if I do that? He's like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Because well, he didn't get any swag. Why not have that luck? Well, if I'm not getting the swag, then give me something. Give me some swag. You know, like. Well, especially because the digital deluxe is just a freaking. You don't have the actual copy of it with all the swag. Yeah, you just yeah. get like the game. Like, yeah, it's just digital. Whatever. You get a cool uh, freaking sparrow. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, no, that's what it was. You get, you get like the, the stupid ship, the, yeah. the better ship. Like, whatever. No. I want like a pin or something. I want a Destiny helmet I can put on. Oh, did you see the, the Fallout 4? Uh, Pip Boy edition. I didn't. So a really cool idea for swag. Um, they have um, a Pip Boy that comes with the edition, mm -hmm. and but it's not. It's just like a cover. What happens is you get an app for your phone, and you put your phone in as the Pip Boy screen, and so you can like do all the Pip Boy stuff on on your own phone, and have it in your arm, and be the biggest nerd of all. Yeah, they just walk around the mall with it and stuff. Be like, I gotta call them. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'm talking to my Pip Boy. Yeah, I don't want to set the world on fire. You can wear your vault jumpsuit. Fire. You can rock your vault jumpsuit at the mall. Yeah, if you're wearing that, they probably kick you out of the mall and they might arrest you. I might get that edition. Although it's already sold out on Amazon. For the oh, and the Assassin's Creed Syndicate, of course, they uh, they have more gameplay. They had another trailer. Syndicated Incorporated. Uh, they uh, they introduced Evie and showed you a little bit of her. I'm of her uptight. Gameplay. Is that what she's uptight? She's this like the stealth assassin type of them. So the other guy. There's some. There's some. Well, you get to play as both of them. You can interchange. You can interchange. Them. <laughs> I'm not a stealthy assassin. I'm just. I'm really the guy that jumps yeah, off. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a spaces. meat basher. Punching, gangs in New York. Put my top so hat on. So you're saying you're a meat basher, man? Meat basher. I mean, bash my meat. own meat and other people's meat. Um, that's what I said. In, in like a park uh, at night or something. Shut up! I'm talking about this. <laughs> shut up! I'm talking. Bashing other guys' meat. Shut up! I'm talking. Uh, like Butcher Pete. Um, so anyway, oh, they Pete. had a really cool, uh, uh, train sequence during this whole thing. Like, uh, like climbing buildings and trying to chase this guy into a train. You, you, you're, it showed, uh, how the, the carts work, uh, the, the horse drawn carriages and like how he, this, he chases somebody and then somebody else bashes their carriage into him. And he's going to like fight the people on top of his carriage and then his carriage too damaged so he grabs another carriage. There's a lot of cool like... Uh, so you're saying there's this some awesome carriage technology? Is that what you're saying? Uh, what, carriages are the fastest thing. No, horses are still faster than a regular because they're pulling a carriage. But but the train was really cool. But you have four uh, horsepower. And man. like you had to chase the guy and then like people would come up on the side of the train which is almost formulaic but you know then you beat the guys up and you go keep walking towards the guy it makes you feel a lot better when you finally jump over and mash that guy you know like I beat up all your friends now you're dead snicky snicky right in your neck I just want to be able to choose any weapon I want and then it always has them talk even though you just stuck them in the neck like wait, you, I just, I, you know how you stab me I'm going to tell you a story now. <laughs> Thanks for stabbing me in the neck for and stuff. That's kind of sucks, but, you know, I guess I had that coming. But at least I, I can you, still talk, right? Let me tell you, again, you're struggling like a voice box. It's kind of weird that you, I guess you missed my vocal or something. There's no blood gurgling. Uh, that's cool. Okay, so let's tell you a story. Okay. Right before I, I die, <laughs> I'll tell you some plot points. Uh, you better go get this guy next. I don't know why I tell you to someone else to kill, but I just do it. Oh, Mike, okay. Star Fox. Yes, Star Fox. <sighs> do a barrel roll! But do you... Do you get to play as, like, Peppy? Can I play Do a barrel roll! Thanks, Fox! It means Lippy. I saw you are always saving me! We had our legs half <laughs> <laughs> They did. They had their legs half Look Look it up. Oh, a jerk. Uh, I'm not... I don't know. I, I guess... I, I guess, uh, um... At E3, I, I think this is what I... If I read the article correctly. They had a, de a demo, um... R wing, and you could play the game, the, the demo of the game in the R wing. Okay, it's pretty cool. So, but then, you don't have to cut your legs off. So that means you want to buy? I'm not cutting my legs <laughs> off. Like you have to cut your legs off. Sorry, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry, so you're you're like, you signed the contract. Ah! Here's metal legs. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Do I know? I don't know how to use these though. You just put metal. They fold up into a chair. Things what do they do? Thing. What happens with these things? But yeah, but um, I guess your R wing can turn into vehicles. They're trying to do something different. It's it's Star Fox. It hasn't been around for 20 years, really. 25 years when was the last time they put a Star Fox out. Like a real one, you know? Thanks, Fox! Do a 
Farrell. It's me, Falco. I'm a douche. Uh, on, on, on the Xbox side of things, they had uh, some more on Halo 5. The Guardian of the Galaxy. See, I, don't know I, I do miss Halo a little bit. I, I Halo, was the, one, miss from the Halo was the one game uh, yes, I really Xbox liked games. in the X- Xbox. X360. Um, they also had a, new, the, a little bit of the new Gears of War, which I did not watch, so... I didn't think you did either, but I just wanted to... Oh, no, I did not. Uh, did you hear anything about Battleborn? This is another game that... Battleborn! This is another game that a lot of people were talking about, and I just... Like, uh, oh, Battle, so yeah, Battleborn like, is, is it's a new offering from um, Borderlands guys. Uh, okay. the, so, uh, 2K, I think it is. But um, it's... Battleborn is weird, because it's like... A lot... It has a very Borderlands feel, mm-hmm. but the characters are all super different. So, like, instead of just being, like, a guy that's sort of different and gets a gun, or a girl that's sort of different and gets a gun, now it's, like, you're, like, a witch with four hands, or, like, a guy that with a sword and a weird bow, or, and so, like, like it, you're basically, like, very different archetypes. Okay. And it's the same kind of wacky fun, supposedly, uh, that, this, you know, the same kind of feel that Borderlands had, but um, with very different characters. Like a witch with four hands. Like a witch with four hands. Can I make my? I witch? like the, that's the one I saw. Can I make my witch with four hands make out with a squid with the revolver? Well, though, like she, she, she had like four hands, and all four hands are on the screen at the bottom of the screen, and they're all like shooting spells. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And and also one was like a just a regular guy with a gun. He looked like a Destiny character. I was like, well, okay, what's that's just like regular cool. dude with a gun. Like, like, case like, you want to be vanilla ice cream. <laughs> like, like, who do you want to? Who do you be? Person, well armored person with a gun or. A weird witch with four hands. Creepy, weird-looking witch. Like, well, does does she does she have like machine gun spells? Yeah. Well, I have a machine gun, Critical so I'll just use that. Arm. And I have an armor, so I'll, I'll not get hit by your spells and then shoot you with a machine gun. Is that good? Can I do that? Okay. Well, the last thing I have. I see more on it. I see more on it. The last thing I have. Um, Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain are coming to the PS4. Beyond Two Souls. Are you gonna be buying these? Probably not. I might buy about I, uh, maybe Beyond Two did Souls. Did you play and, Heavy Rain? I play, yeah, I played the shit. Okay. I don't know if you did. I beat it with the ultimate cool ending. Uh, the, 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 you get everything special ending. I think I beat it. I think I beat it with the, the best ending. I'm pretty sure I did. And also the first time I played it, that stupid guy with the the, the addiction and the glasses got killed by the uh, by the, his addiction. The, the weird black guy. No, the weird oh, black guy. He killed by his addiction too. Because he could die from that well, too. The, the worst part is I kept doing the thing right, and it's like, no, you're doing it wrong, because my controller was worn out and wasn't letting me do it. It wasn't, so it wasn't like saying I was doing it correctly. So I was like, doing it correctly. He's like, no, you did it incorrectly. So I like literally did it, like 25 times, and then I stopped. And I was like, okay, he's dead. Cool, whatever. So the same way I played it, I had a better controller though, and I was like, oh, yeah, that was easy. I wonder why. Stupid. <laughs> But no beyond to And literally, like, though, I only just one thing, and it was just that last thing, and then they killed me. And I was like, okay. All right, like I said, Beyond Two Souls would be the one I would probably get again. Like, I, I played Heavy Rain to death, though. It's not fresh to death anymore, is that what you're saying? No, it's not fresh anymore. And, uh, you know, I like I like Jody. She was a great character. She's a fun character. And Walden Defoe was in it, I mean. Although, cool. although uh, that, that Aiden ghost, man, he got a little on oh, my nerves sometimes. That's why his name was Aiden. Like, stop cock mocking me, Aiden. Whatever. Aiden, I Aiden's my thing. son. He's not a ghost. I hate him. He's real. I hate him too. You heard it first. It's not true. Jess, it's not true. when she watches this, it's going to break her heart. And she will <laughs> not watch this. Uh, the last thing I have met Final Fantasy Remake is happening. Yeah. Final Fantasy is happening. Well, I, I, I used to say seven, isn't it? I cared about this like three years ago, and I don't really care anymore. You used to be like the Final Fantasy guy. I still am the Final Fantasy guy. Well, so you don't care about it anymore. Final Fantasy fourteen is great. Uh, if you so cared about it, you I, would. I've been playing the. Uh, I've been playing the uh, the remaster. Is this was this Cloud? Is Cloud? Yeah, Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Strife. Strife. Cloud Strife. Um, and and uh, Barrett. Barrett man, he's got the gun arm. He's a uh-huh. good character. I, I I'm just saying, I remember that Tifa. She's got the big boobs and she punches people. The big boobs. And then there's uh this Eris who's the. Eris. Kind of vanilla wafer of the group that you, that your character falls in love with for no reason. And she's murdered for no reason either. Not Tifa. He's like, I don't like boobs. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I really like you. He's like, uh, I'm evil. Which is why, this yeah. side, I, like, the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't really need a remake of that. And there's no Blitzball, so what's the point? And there's no Blitzball, which is still awesome, by the way. Still holds up. What's the point? Dirt-o. 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 
You, you just play a blitzball game or real life. Like, do you want do you want to uh, do you want an Oculus Rift blitzball game? Morpheus, man. Morpheus has an esports first person shooter called Rigs coming out. So blitzball, <coughs> blitzball rigs. I'll be the captain of the state Oryx. And I'll be on the other team. Uh, the keeper. I'll be Waka. But you mean the Luka Goers, man. Because <laughs> no, they Kipa always is lose. Because the they always lose. The keeper is named Keepa. <laughs> Did Nintendo write that? Because <laughs> that sounds like something. No, Nintendo Japanese wrote people wrote that. <laughs> it's about to say the same name of Keepa. Keeper named Keepa. No, man, Waka. He's a chocobo, obviously. Waka's the only other person that's He's worth He's obviously it. a chocobo, right? Waka's <laughs> the only other person worth anything on that team. It, basically, what happened when I when I played, I haven't, I'm not into it that far yet. But when when, when I played it the first time, I basically trained everyone else from the Mercedes off my team, and then just kept walking in Titus. The main character's name was actually Titus, although I always name him Miguel. What? True story. Drink. Oh, Timmy is drunk. Wow. <laughs> a little bit. Woohoo! Yes. Good. good ending. That's when I get drunk from listening to Jamie. So, so Morpheus does have a game. It's one game confirmed. <sighs> Finally, but we love you guys. No. Bang. Stay classy, guys. Boom. Boom.